Dear colleagues and welcome to Napoli. First time that we wake up here, it's match day. The city is already all hyped up and set for today's match. We've been told that tonight, this afternoon, we will know what it really means for the city to be absolutely blocked. The reason, once again, calcio. And here we are in San Paolo in a pretty different scenario to what we usually get in stadiums because both in La Liga or Champions League games, the stadiums only open their gates like a couple hours before kickoff. And it's now only 5 pm in the afternoon, that means four hours still away from kickoff, and people are already getting into the stadium. And not only that, you can already hear the atmosphere from outside it. You can see they are, they are testing the screen, test is written uh, across it. And according to this test, Napoli nil, Barca nil, tied at the minute 20 of the match. Let's see what happens. Players just left the hotel, they have a 20 minute drive and the dressing room is already all ready for them. And by the way, today we're debuting this ball for the match. We've been training with it for the last few training sessions, but today will be its official debut on match day. And if you have ever been to one of the big games that are broadcasted everywhere in the world, you have probably noticed that there are always these huge white vans parked outside the stadiums. Well, this is a TV compound and it's a place that guarantees that you will be able to follow the match no matter where you live because the pool gets everywhere in the world. 4-1-4-1, quello che ormai Gattuso ha scelto nelle ultime gare che ha portato punti alla formazione del Parte Europea con Ospina in porta di Lorenzo Manolas e fatto a distanza di 30 anni con l'attuale numero uno al mondo, Leo Messi. And right next to the TV compound, another very important place of the stadium, the away fan stands entrance. This is where Barca fans will enter the stadium from. Let's go inside. This is a countdown till kickoff. This means we already know the lineup. We know the 11 players that will start this first leg of our round of 16. This Napoli against Barca. Today we're playing with Ter Stegen on the goal, with defense for Junior Umtiti Pique and Nelson Semedo on the midfield. Sergio Busquets, Frank Jong, Ivan Rakitic, and Arturo Vidal, and the forward line for Antoine Griezmann and Leo Messi. These are the 11 players that Kike Setien has picked for his first starting lineup ever in the Champions League history. Kike Setien, who by the way will be sitting here in this bench that's right behind me.
el instante en el que también están regando el campo. Y esto es lo que acaba de pasar justo en el momento en que estábamos hablando con Edera, que le agradecemos, gracias Eder, y que se haya mojado. Pero bueno, el debut de la Champions, el momento sin directo de la tele. Hasta el día de Eder, David. And there are the culés, the Barça fans that have traveled all the way to Naples, to Italy, to enjoy this game live. Well, it's almost time for the warm-up, so let's check out for the players.
Last minute arrangements being made behind me, last preparations because the sound music is finally back. Now that's for real. The level of excitement is mind blowing and the game is just about to start. The players are about to sound the and one of everyone's favorite moments, the Champions League anthem, is about to play. Let the round of 16 finally begin. Blow the whistle, will he? We're ready to go. Nightly attack by Barcelona. Kick off the with Paolo, Barca fans are still there. They were chanting until the very end and cheering for the team. And well, it's not the victory, not the win that we were all hoping for. But nevertheless, 1-1. Away goals are so important. And we still have 90 minutes ahead of us back home. The second leg will happen at Camp Nou in front of our fans. And it's going to be a completely different scenario. However, Sergio Busquets and Arturo Vidal are going to miss the game. And we still don't know what is going on with Gerard Piquet. He had some issues with his uncle. He was up for Clement Lenglet at the very end of the match. Well, no more about it tomorrow. That's it from Naples. Now the second leg is coming to us in three weeks. But the most important thing now is to shift our focus to the Classico because this Sunday we're traveling to Madrid and we've got one of the most important and vital clashes of La Liga so far. We're facing Madrid. And that's it. If you enjoyed this episode of Inside Champions, you can give this video a like, a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel over here somewhere. Turn on your notifications so that you don't miss any of our videos. And we'll see you with the second leg. Bye!